How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get new DLC weapons before the 4th of December. It seems Bungie, much like in the House of Wolves, much like in Forsaken, has enabled NPCs to appear, roaming enemies to appear, and these enemies do have a chance of dropping DLC loot. I haven't been lucky enough to get them, however a friend of mine has, he used the fireteam medallion, I didn't. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it. However, what I do know is they do drop, but their drop rate isn't great. In regards to the annual pass giveaway, this has now ended. I'm sorry everyone, but the competition has now ended. I will be running the draw after this video, and then I will be contacting the winner via email as stated in order to provide them with their code. Now in the next video, I will also announce who that winner is but please check your emails because that will be the method of contact that I will contact you. I'll give you a couple days to get back to me and if you don't, then I will be rerunning the prize draw and picking out another name. So please check your emails and do get in touch after you receive an email from me. With that said, on with the video, how do we get these weapons? At the moment, EDZ and Nessus are the two locations people are farming. In the EDZ, what you wanna do is go to the outskirts and head to the southeast. Don't go all the way to the bridge, just pretty much hover around it on top of a rock and eventually you will see a servitor appear. It has little drones around it, destroy the drones, the boss becomes vulnerable and at that point you have a window to take it out. If you take too long, the drones will reappear. It doesn't recover health, but you just need to take the drones down again and they are rather annoying. With that said, once that's done, another one does appear. This one appears at the Gulch. Now if you fast travel there fast enough, you will be able to catch it and defeat it. Of course, if people are already there and fighting it, then you won't. Now when you defeat both of these, you also get a triumph, which is why I'm assuming every planet will have at least two, because it just makes sense. At the moment, Nessus and Edie's are the ones that have been found, so go check them out. The drop isn't guaranteed, the drop is low as, like I said, I haven't yet got one. I've killed about 10-15 and I will be farming this tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get some more loot and get some good rolls and then I can showcase some of that stuff. Once you've defeated these two, if you want to go get the next triumph, what you need to do is go to Nessus and fast travel to Ark's Edge. From here, jump down and take a right to the ship and pretty much wait there. If there's a flag, grab it because the enemies here are quite powerful. They are 610 recommended. So if you're on your own and you're under leveled, this is going to be a, a bit of a task to take down. But right now, there's a lot of people just hanging around there. So just join in on the fun. It's a community event and enjoy it. You will find pods there as well, but the loot for these are not yet active, and as such, you can just ignore them. You can shoot the drones and open them to see the animation and stuff, but they're pretty much just useless at the moment. Once you defeat the spawned minotaur, grab your loot, jump on your sparrow, and head to the hollows. Follow it all the way around, drop down the hole, and to your left you will find a cabal. If it's not dead already, get a few shots in, DPS it down, and hopefully grab your loot and you will get your next triumph. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to farm this. If you want my personal opinion, Nessus is a far easier way to farm this. You start off at Arctic's Edge, defeat the Minotaur, zip round on your Sparrow, get the one in the hollows, and then fast travel back, and you're done. With the EDZ, you have to travel to the outskirts, get to the position, take out the Servitor, then you have to fast travel, which is a loading screen, to the Gulch. From there, you have to hope that you get there in time to kill the Cabal, and if not, you miss out. With Nessus, you don't have that problem because you're pretty much zipping around. From the six times that I attempted it at Nessus, I only missed the Cabal once because there was a battalion there just taking it out and destroying him already. Generally, when I get there, there's about one or two, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Go out there, find these enemies, defeat them, and grab your loot. Let me know in the comment section below how it works out for you. Let me know if you've got any awesome rolls, if you've got any god rolls. I'd love to hear what type of weapons and rolls you're getting. Get that comment section on fire. Right, with that said, 
Look out for the next video because the winner will be announced there. The winner will also be announced on my Twitter. Follow to be notified. I'll also be contacting you via email. So keep an eye out on all the channels. And until next time, Guardians, remain legendary.